Hello, well, welcome to Emotional Badass, where Moxie meets Mindful. I'm your host, life coach and psychotherapist, Nikki Eisenhower. And on today's episode, I'm discussing the butterfly effect of support. Just by sitting down and reflecting at the end of this year, I've been able to create a few episodes out of those reflections. I want to talk a little bit about the butterfly effect. I know it's something that we hear a lot about. It can kind of sound very, very fluffy, but I want to really be able to name through the lens of this podcast how real the butterfly effect is. Merriam-Webster defines the butterfly effect as a chaotic system by which small changes in initial conditions can lead to large-scale and unpredictable variation in the future state of the system. Now, lots of times when you hear science behind the butterfly effect, they're talking about weather. When we're talking about the butterfly effect in spiritual work or emotional work, we're talking about not the weather. We're talking about what happens when we make a very small emotional, mental, or physical change in our own lives. The butterfly effect that we have, the expansive effect that we have within our own lives by making a small change. And then the effect that we have on our systems, our family systems, our work systems, our church systems, our yoga studio systems, the people at the gym. There is a butterfly effect with everyone that we know because when we make a small change within ourselves to brighten, to lighten, to release, to let go, to move through our grief. We are lighter and brighter beings in the world. If I walk into the world and from my lightness and brightness, I simply smile and connect with 10 people. Maybe they smile at more people in their world that day. We want more of this positive butterfly effect. I know as highly sensitive people, we are so overly aware of how there's a butterfly effect to negativity, to darkness, from child bullies to adult bullies, to narcissists in our news and our governments and our corporations. When I say on the show, thank you for being the change in the world and your own, I'm talking about the butterfly effect. It's been a struggle for me to figure out how to share with the audience what our Patreon is, because there's a massive butterfly effect from our Patreon. Now, if you don't know what it is, I'm sure you've heard me and other podcasters talk about what Patreon is. I know I support at least one artist on Patreon who draws. And since supporting her, she's been able to start her own podcast. So I feel part of the butterfly effect of that. But Patreon is a place where creatives can basically go to have their creative passion endeavor supported by the masses. I don't know about you, but for years when I would hear politicians and news reporters talk about job creation and job growth, I didn't know what that meant. Like, where are these jobs coming from when they say there's job growth? Well, I want you to know that if you've supported us on Patreon, you have been part of job creation. Yes, Patreon members. You have created jobs this year through this podcast. Now on Patreon, it's a tiered system. You come and you join at different levels. Some people give us $2, some give us 5 some give us 10 and some give us 20 And we're grateful for all of it. Our Patreon has been able to pay five different people this year to manage social media, to do audio and video and graphic editing and creation studio time, website and marketing development. It's paid for an assistant to help schedule me on other shows to grow the show. And it's helped schedule and coordinate everything that goes into having a guest of the show. I have to choose a guest, meet a guest. Then we schedule the recordings. Then we record. Then we edit the recordings. Then we get what we call assets. The person that I interview, we have to collect their picture, their bio, their website information. 
And then we have to create a whole lot of graphics and social media on all of those fronts. And then we send them my information, my picture, my bio, and we exchange all of that and then have to coordinate the release of all of that. Our Patreon has covered the cost of collaborating with entities like The Big Quiet this year so that we could coordinate giveaways and give to some of our people here in Denver. And we were also able to give some Big Quiet tickets away to their last event in Boston. We have given 10% of that Patreon on top of that job creation. We have paid that forward. Sometimes we've chosen a GoFundMe. Most recently, we've chosen Chesterfield Foundation that empowers other professionals and teachers to know what to look for in the realm of childhood abuse and neglect. Those are the people at the front line of helping our country's children not just not be abused, but to have that abuse caught earlier and get those children to help and safety. We've been able to keep the show commercial free while doing that because I know it's what you want. I know y'all fast forward through all those ads in the other show and you can't stand them. I know you've told me. Every single one of you that have got on to our Patreon to throw us two bucks or five bucks or 10 bucks or 20 bucks. This is what you've done. This is the power of each individual when we come together as this powerful, highly sensitive tribe. I want to list for you the episodes, 19 episodes at the time of this recording. We're about to release another one for 20. On top of the 80 plus episodes we have on the live iTunes feed, here's a list of those episodes that are available to you on Patreon right now, this second, if you get on Patreon and throw us five bucks. Getting the anger out where I speak very vulnerably about how I got my anger out in my 20s. We explore personal power. There's an episode I recorded about the process of clearing the chaos. Kim on our Patreon says, I have listened to this one four times and still feel something different every time. Thank you. And that's part of how our Patreon works, that you can go make comments about each individual episode And it helps me know where to guide future episodes and how to serve you, this audience, individually and collectively better. There's an episode continuing our lessons from the live feed on our law of attraction, just going a little bit deeper, a little bit fuller. There's an episode called Deeper Truths and the Power of Secret Revealing to help us standing up for ourselves and our truth. Jessica said, We must manage our hope, question mark, question mark. I am so guilty of throwing all of my help into those black holes. Could you please go into more detail at some point on how to begin to manage one's hope? It feels so foreign to even think of limiting my hope. It's definitely becoming and has always been a bit of a problem in my life. Thank you. So that question was born. That's how our Patreon works. That question was born out of that episode. And then in our next monthly live stream, I was able to address that question. So if you throw us $10 a month, you also get 19 months, 19 hours of video of me answering specific questions from our Patreon community. This is exactly how our awakening happens. This is exactly how we evolve as highly sensitive people and seekers and empaths and survivors on this journey of life. It compounds and it expands in a massive butterfly effect. When you come on our Patreon and bravely share a vulnerable and intimate question about what's going on in your life or how to handle something that's difficult in the world, you are showing up and asking that question for dozens and dozens, if not hundreds upon hundreds of other people who are sitting having a similar question bubble to the surface, but they didn't know how to ask it. You asked it. I talk about in one episode on Patreon, a particular part of my most recent yoga training. I'm becoming what we call in the yoga world, a 500 hour teacher. The basic training is a 200 hour training. And I talk about my visit to the cadaver lab. That's what I did. I've spent time holding parts of a physical body to learn about the body, to help me learn about my own body and yours. If I'm ever to teach you in yoga. I talk about my experience at Meow Wolf, 
and call that episode The Healing Power of Meow Wolf. It's an inner child paradise of healing, y'all. Another episode is The Feelings Cloud and How to Assert Emotion. I share my intimate story of my own medical trauma and my multiple jaw surgeries. I talk about experiencing the holidays and adult wonderment. I talk about a different way of viewing divorce in the episode called Unexpected Expertise, Rebirth, and a Refreshing View of Divorce. There's a Halloween episode called Embracing Our Dark Sides to talk about our shadow self and how to balance the light and dark side of our human existence. Isabel says, thanks for this. I've honestly never even considered this way of thinking about my whole self. Because isn't it true? All of us, every human walking around, we have a dark part and we have a light part. I basically won't trust any healer, any self-development person who can't show me that they are in touch with their dark part. Because it's a one-sided kind of healing if we're only dealing in the light. I talk about my very candid experience of going to Catholic sex ed when I was in the fifth grade. I talk about getting comfortable wearing the bitch hat in our boundaries work. Part joke, part reality about what we do when we step into our empowerment and our self-advocacy. There's an episode called The Lesson of Poopy Pants. Yep, it's my poopy pants, y'all. And what there is, like the richness that there is for us to learn from our most embarrassing moments. There's simply an episode called Loneliness. Because I know how much this tribe struggles to feel unalone in the world. I talk about how to take our power back from the gremlin that is suicidal ideation. I did that episode around the time that Anthony Bourdain suicided. I talk about HSP's healing trauma and what happens in relationship. All of this is available to you on our Patreon. We will be choosing another Pay It Forward recipient at the beginning of 2020. Because of this Patreon, we have been able to pay forward your vote of confidence that every contribution to our Patreon has been since day one. Now, I am a big advocate for us getting measurable and specific about what we want and need when I teach that boundaries course. That's one of the lessons. And there's a vulnerability to stepping into fully naming what we need and want, isn't there? This is me stepping into that vulnerability. We need more help with this show. We have been able to do all of this with about 100 Patreon supporters. We've hit a million downloads recently. We want more help to keep producing emotional badass. We need it to expand and grow into our vision of moving into video and then being able to have a full-time staff member to be a project manager for this show. Your contributions help us keep the show commercial free. I hope by me using this space to talk more about the butterfly effect and the power of what happens when we come together little bit by little bit, that you can, like never before, believe in the, the butterfly effect that you are enacting in your own personal life. Whatever you're doing now positively, imagine the butterfly effect of that five years from now, 10. Imagine the impact of everyone in your world who sees you do the brave work of showing up for yourself, of advocating, of changing, of evolving, of growing. Those of you with children, the butterfly effect of your betterment, your dedication to self-development while you raise children, how do we even begin to measure that? It's astronomical. Many of you talk to me about how bleak the outlook is for the health of our planet for what's happening in the political arenas, what's happening in corporate America, how Americans are expected to work like workaholics, how normalized that's become. I wanted to use this time today to help you know that by sharing the show, you have been a part of this movement. We've been downloaded in almost every single country in the world. That is because this tribe has listened and has shared this show. You are part of an Im incredible butterfly effect. Please don't ever forget that. Every single time 
you take a deep breath and you make the decision to make a brave, healthy change in your world, one healthy, brave step forward towards healthiness, please trust that there is a butterfly effect that you cannot feel or know that is happening for you. It is unfolding right there in that moment. If you want to be a part of this movement, if you want to listen to the episodes I just listed, come find us, patreon.com backslash emotional badass. I can't wait to see what's going to happen as we enter year three of this healing show. It's been my dream, and I am so, so grateful. I promise to keep growing, evolving, and expanding myself right along with you. I am an emotional badass. You are an emotional badass. And together, we are a badass tribe where Moxie meets mindful. Continue taking care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.